Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory, where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And we create comics. We are working on my comic book project. Well, I'm working on my comic book project, Young and the Dead. I'll show you that in a minute. But I want to talk about what this challenge is all about. Because this is part of the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, where you spend 30 minutes a day, every day, for 100 days straight, working on your own personal comic book project. And then at the end of those 100 days, all those 30 minutes have accumulated and hopefully you've made a lot of progress on your comic book and of course you can always spend more if you have the time but this challenge was started by Kevin Cross who at the time was finding it very difficult with his busy schedule to finish his comics so he said you know what if I just spend if I just put 30 minutes aside every day to work on this personal project then it will grow and you know th that time will add up and uh, so that's what we're doing um, I try to put more in but uh, at least 30 minutes a day and that seems to be what has been going on because uh, like Kevin did when he first started off I have a pretty busy schedule so um, anyway so where are we at with the challenge we are at day 48 I believe I think so yeah <laughs> so day 48 so we got the big fat sharpie the big sheet of paper and uh, we're going to write that down so we don't lose track of where we are in the challenge. And uh, so, like I was saying, back to the cover book itself. Uh, Young and the Dead, this is the Deluxe Artist Edition. There's also a regular standard edition, that, the kind, you know, like the kind of standard size, like you would see at a comic book store. We've got one of those. But this is the Deluxe one. This is handmade, hand put together. It even comes with an original sketch. And it is available at CircWorks.com as well as all the other versions of uh, issues one, two, three, and I'm working on four right now. So hopefully that'll up, be up there soon. So like I said, and it, like I said, it comes with an original sketch. And uh, and speaking of sketches, uh, I was going to show you some of my sketches. Now usually, um, and you know, for most people, I would recommend you know picking up one of these sketchbooks. But I'm going to show you my sketchbook here. And uh, this is pretty sad because, as you can see, there's nothing in it. I am so bad about keeping a sketchbook. Um, I don't know what it is. I just, uh, you know, I, I, one of these days I'm going to start filling up a sketchbook. But typically, and it's not that I don't do sketching. I sketch all the time, but I usually do it on, on loose sheets of uh, cardstock or Bristol or paper or whatever. And uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll take those sketches and I'll compile them. <laughs> I'll just paste them together in a book or uh, like a sketchbook and that'll be my sketchbook. Um, but anyway, but I do do a lot of sketching. So I was going to just show you some of my sketching so you can kind of see what I do when I'm not doing comics. Uh, and uh, some of these sketches you may have seen on the channel. I, you know, uh, before I did the 100 Days of Making Comics, I showed how I, the process of a lot of these sketches. But I'll just kind of show you again. Now... As I said in the beginning, I do a lot of robots, I do a lot of aliens, I do a lot of zombies and other imminent threats to humanity. So you will notice a theme as we go through these sketches. So anyway, so just to give you an idea of kind of what I like to do, um, here, here, here's one. Here's is that that's getting a little washed out, but uh, yeah. So just a little zombie and a little dog, and the dog is running around, you know, running away with his zombie arm. Um, that one is most mostly what I do is pen and ink, but sometimes I'll do a little Copic color in there. Um, so here is like a deep sea kind of fishing drone diver guy. Um, got some sharks in there. That's I don't know if that's necessary. Well, robots, you know, if it's a drone or a mech or something. This is just a, kind of a space adventurer guy. Can you see that? I, it seems like it's getting washed out by the camera. Um, here's sort of a, a kid zombie fighter. Now this is not a character of Young and the, from Young and the Dead, but you know, I don't see any reason why it couldn't be. Um, you know, <laughs> maybe if we do a sequel or something, we can introduce this character, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of like the look of that. Um, Here's just a goofy kind of alien on some kind of a speeder type bike, you know, speeding through space. Um, here's a kind of a cool like assassin robot, some kind of, you know, looks like he's going to do some damage there. Um, I like to draw mechs a lot. So this is kind of a construction mech um, and it's driven by one of my little hench minions. 
that helps run this this uh, underground layer. Uh, here's a, here's another one that I really like. This is just a it's just a dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> he's kind of like a you know almost like that construction mech. He looks like he's doing some construction or maybe he's demolishing something or whatever. Uh, this is just kind of my version of sort of a Frankenstein type monster. Here's another alien guy with another little cute little alien companion on his shoulder there. And uh, this is just sort of a concept here. A little fishbowl with a space shuttle and the astronaut and space in there. And then uh, this another astronaut guy kind of getting pulled into some sort of uh, you know, I don't know if that's a creature's mouth or a creature or tentacles bringing them into like a, I don't know what it is, but it's <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so that's the kind of stuff I like to sketch. Uh, what are you guys interested in sketching? Uh, do you like robots? Do you like zombies? All that kind of stuff? Or, you know, maybe you like uh, chibi type stuff or whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys like to draw. Hit me up in the comments section. Um, and uh, with that, we're going to go on to uh, seeing where we are in the process of creating the comics. So we're going to go right up here to the parallelscope, which allows us to view alternate realities where this project, this comic book, is already in process, so let's check that out. Okay, uh, on to inking uh, page two, and uh, yeah, it's just get, it's getting harder and harder to find time. <laughs> if you've seen my house, it's just like a disaster. I mean, um, it. I just haven't had time to clean and do, do all this other stuff. Um, but you know, I, I'm managing to get that 30 minutes a day in, but it just, that's just it. So, um, yeah, the, the, just putting these videos <laughs> together, it's like, I keep wondering if I bit off more than I can chew, but you know, I'm going to persevere and, and, uh, and get through this. It's just, just, the, you know, a bunch of other stuff that's kind of come into play and trying to, uh, juggle all that. Um, but, um, but anyway, getting, getting work done regardless. So, uh, anyway, on this, uh, this panel, we're moving in again, more into the interior of this, uh, research facility. We're kind of looking down the corridor. Um, and again, this is kind of like the first page in that there's not a whole lot of characters. It's mostly just me inking with the micron and there'll be some, some brush work here. And it's going to be like that. Uh, pretty much through the third page, but yeah, so it's it's a little tedious. I'm looking I'm looking forward to get further into the book, and you know, because it's always fun to to illustrate characters and the way this is starting out. We haven't even returned to what our heroes are doing, so. But that's uh, that's you know that's the story. That's the way I've kind of laid it out. So probably not as uh, fun to watch as as like big character battles and zombies and all that stuff but it it all everything has its place in, in telling a story so that's kind of where I where I am right now and you know I'm, I'm sure I will get on top of all this stuff it just right now it's pretty overwhelming but um, but that you know that, I guess that's sort of a good good lesson as far as you know <laughs> getting stuff done I mean that's what this is all about. This is uh, sometimes it's hard. It's some. It's not always easy, and uh, we've got to uh, got to make that time. And that's what that's all about. So whether it's 30 minutes or you know, someday maybe I'll have more time. But it's so far it's just been those 30 minutes trying to get that time in, and uh, I'll be back. You know, I'll be back tomorrow for another 30 minutes. So. All right, that's another day gone. Let's uh, pull off the day from the pad. We're going to crumble up day 48, toss it in the garbage, and uh, we are going to see you tomorrow for day 49. I'll see you then. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at cirqueworks.com. Also, follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this series. There's much more to come.